Hi folks, welcome to another video. I hope this one finds you well. Um, what have we got for you today? Well, we've got a beautiful aeroplane. I can tell you that much. The DAC. The DC-3. Resplendent in the Dan Air Services livery. May give you an idea about where we begin our journey today. A uh, lovely pond in the backdrop as well. Lovely part of the world here. What we do have for you is a short strip. <laughs> a short grass strip, but... In our favour is a decent breeze, and we're going to be pointing into it for the most part, so that should help. Um, yeah, this is uh, well, a, a video in response to a viewer's suggestion. You know who you are. Um, thank you, mate, for your support. Always good to uh, hear from you, and I hope that you've got your uh, water issues resolved, just in case you're wondering if I'm talking to you or not. That will make sense to you at least um yeah we're in the uk today folks i might start we'll jump into the flight plan pretty uh pretty early on let's do that so as i mentioned we're in the uh we're in the uk folks um because today's coronation day charlie's getting um getting the sword done and getting the crown put on and all of the other he's getting washed or something there's a there's a cleansing ceremony or something i don't know folks I'm not a, uh, a scholar in these things. I'm not a scholar in any things. Um, but King Charles III is officially uh, being recognised as the monarch uh, today. Um, doesn't happen very often, the old coronations. First one in my lifetime. I, I wasn't around for Lizzie's. But, uh, well, I'm hoping to be around for Charlie's. I only have to survive another few hours. There's a reasonable chance that that will happen. Uh, we begin our journey today in... Uh, Haydock Park airstrip, small airstrip here between the cities of Manchester and Liverpool uh, why Haydock Park? I've never heard of it before I have no association with it um, but Manchester and Liverpool I just happen to be catching up with the Premier League <laughs> and uh, I, I'm not a fan I wouldn't consider myself a supporter of either Manchester or Liverpool or Manchester has two teams um, but I enjoy the game. I've enjoyed this season. And there's an interesting sort of uh, title race underway at the moment. Manchester City have just taken the lead over Arsenal at the top of the Premier League table. And uh, I have been following Manchester United's season as well. Um, what an interesting season they've had. Played Old Trafford, of course, United. Um, and as I, uh, as I film this one... They've, uh, they went down to Brighton 1-0. Um, of course, Liverpool, not having the greatest of seasons. Uh, they're just outside the top four, I think, about fifth place, Liverpool. Fifth or sixth. Um, they don't look like they're going to make the cut for the Champions League next season. But uh, what a rich history um, the Liverpool club has. And I love their team song. They have the best team song in the world for mine. You'll never walk alone. And a shout out to all of my uh, my viewers that uh, hail from this part of the world. I hope you're all uh, hope you're all well. Um, anyway, we're going to begin our journey just because <laughs> Haydock Park airstrip, and then sort of overfly the River Mersey, uh, and then down over whatever this is, uh, a VOR of some sort called Hawarden VOR, uh, and then down over Welshpool VOR which is down here on the River Severn. And we're going to end up down in southern Wales, a place called Swansea. Why southern Wales? Well, Charlie was formerly the Prince of Wales. He's passed that baton to his, uh, his eldest son, uh, the only son he probably still speaks to, Willie. Um, but, yeah, he was formerly the, the Prince of Wales. So that's the journey today, folks. Haydock Park down to Swansea in Wales. We're in the DC-3. Um, I'm going to try and land a DC-3 and keep it on the strip for the first time in my simming career. <laughs> that's, uh, that's kind of the, the aim here. If I can do that, I'll retire from DC-3 flying. Let's find out what happens. All right, so engine start has been achieved, folks. Uh, control E gets the job done. It may not be what real pilots do. I'm not a real pilot, folks. Uh, parking brake can come off. 
let's uh, head out onto this little strip which looks to be um, orientated towards the east. We've got some motion happening. We are flying with the, the Duckworth DC3 Enhancement Mod. Um, I'll link to that in the description. I won't actually go through what it mods. Um, I'm not sure whether I've done a video like that for the Duckworth. I, I can't remember. But today's not the day, folks. Um, what I'll do is I'll get us started. I'm going to jump outside here. I'll get us lined up at the sort of start of this strip. And uh, a little bit of right boot fella. What we'll do is we'll bring the power in and stand it up. Well, no, we won't stand it up, but you know what I mean. Just line it up first at all, fella. But we pretty much align close enough to it. Right, we'll bring that power in. We're going to cruise down pretty low. Two and a half VFR today, folks, is the plan. I'm hoping that's enough to get us over terrain. Looks like we've got a, a right turn after departure on the track towards that VOR. I think we're, we're pretty much right to go, are we? Do I need flat? I might need some flat now. I'm going to hold the brakes, bring the power in. Oh, it sounds beautiful, these old birds, don't they? Alright, we'll call that power set. Away we go. Airspeed's coming alive nice and early. This bodes well so far. Right boot. Right boot, more right boot. Tails up. 60 knots. Or even miles per hour. There's 80. There was 80. I'm going to try and rotate around about here. What do you reckon? Can we get off the ground? We can. Oh, we made that easily. I was expecting to use far more of that strip. Gear can come up as we go. Alright. She handles like an old bird. <laughs> Get some flaps up as well. Make an early right-hand uh, turn. Come back on the on the props a tad. Give them a rest. Nice vibration effects. I don't know whether they're coming through from the FS Realistic or from the mod itself. I'm not entirely sure. About 110 miles an hour at the moment. Probably out just over a thousand feet a minute. We'll uh, zoom back out so we can see where our magenta is. Got some industry of sorts in the distance. Oh, beautiful. Alright, we're kind of heading up westerly. We're heading southwest today, aren't we? There we go, we'll roll out around about there, retrim for that. Come back on power. About there. Ah, oh, nice stable flight. Right, so fun and games here, folks. Can't get uh, Georgie to function today, the autopilot. I'm going to guess this is the city of Wrexham. Wrexham. That's been in the news lately. Look it up on the tube if you haven't. Um, they won their division, their football division. Ryan Reynolds and a mate bought into the club and um, yeah, they managed to win the division and get promoted. Wrexham, there it is folks. I'm guessing that is the Wrexham. <laughs> Don't quote me on this. Um, but in terms of the flying cape, we're having a bit of trouble getting the autopilot to work. So um, yeah. <laughs> I don't fly this bird very often. Um, which probably has something to do with the fact that I can't get it to work. There must be a trick to it, or I've, or I've done something horribly wrong, or maybe the autopilot doesn't function, I don't know. Um, but anyway, what that means is that we're kind of hand-flying all the way down to, uh, to Swansea, and trying to sort of keep ourselves to around about two and a half, trying to remain clear of cloud, but that's going to become very difficult, um, unless we do something like a descent. <laughs> pretty quickly. Absolutely beautiful though to um, to fly in this part of the world. Look at that scenery. Look at the clouds. It's just magic. An old bird flying poorly by an old fella 
admittedly, but uh, an old fella who always, always enjoys himself. I mentioned this in a sort of previous video, I think. Um, he's flying in New Zealand there. Make sure you're always enjoying yourself, folks. People, I think, take this, this cape a little bit too seriously. Well, we'll duck down to about, uh, well, we'll get down to about two. There's probably some hills in front of us that we need to worry about. Currently en route, Welsh Pool VOR. We're about 24 miles from that. You know, we're flying right into some weather here. So this is going to make for some, some interesting times, but fun times as well. Fun times as well. So the coronation happening today, um, last time I posted a video that uh, had any sort of royal content um, which was the, the death of, of Liz, I think I, I think I crashed a Spitfire somewhere in the UK, um, I got some interesting responses to that, I do get some interesting, uh, certain videos trigger certain individuals. <laughs> I have, I have found. We continue our descent down here to 1500. I don't want to get too much lower than that. Um, I might have to fly some valleys here. Um, yeah, it triggered some interesting responses around um, colonialism, the fact that we shouldn't celebrate um, the royal family and all that sort of stuff. I'm not sure that I'm actually celebrating the royal family. I'm recognising, I was recognising Lizzie's death. I mean, a major world figure, no matter what you think about her and her mob. Um, and the coronation is a major event, no matter what you think about, you know, whether you're a, a monarchist or a republican or otherwise. It's a major event. And I've got no particular strong feelings about Charlie and, the, and his mob at all. Um, he's an interesting fella. Had to wait a long time to uh, get the chocolates, didn't he? Seventy-something years old. Had to wait till his mum character she wasn't going to let go of that scepter of the crown she was holding on to the crown jewels <laughs> i think camilla's been holding on to charlie's crown jewels for many years interesting love story again whatever you think about him and her and uh the morals and all that sort of stuff it is a love story you've got to admit that um you'd have to say he's, they're probably each other's great loves if we have such a thing in life, do we have one great love? Some people believe that. Um, they are each other's great loves. And later on today, she, she becomes Queen Camilla. Queen Camilla. I don't know that it has a ring about it. She has been the Queen Consort. And then officially becomes Queen Camilla. We are getting real low here, aren't we? <laughs> We're going to be doing some tree trimming before too long. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, Charlie, interesting interesting guy, obviously went through, there was all that time back in the back in the 90s when he, he separated and then divorced from uh, Diana and uh, the whole, uh, had his phone tapped and the conversations he had with Camilla were, well, like a little bit un unbecoming of a, of a future monarch, but you know, who hasn't had some inappropriate conversations, you know? At times, come on. No, he just happened to have his have his recorded and made public, and their relationship kind of survived all of that. And um, from all accounts, they're they're quite happy together. It is a love story, no matter what you uh, what you happen to think of it. But yeah, anyway, Charlie, Charlie the Third, King Charles the Third, coronated later today. As I um. <laughs> weave my way through here towards Welsh Pool. This is good fun though. This is, I might put the wipers on. I know the wipers work, don't they? Here we go. There we go. I don't do much. <laughs> That's slow mode. That's my sort of mode. There we go. Quicken up a little bit. Can you go any faster than that? The actress said to the vicar. There we go. We're pumping now. <laughs> hey, there we go. Folks, I might... Um, if we survive down into Wales, I'll uh, I'll rejoin you for the approach of the Swansea. Yeah, I know. I said I'd next see you for the approach, but this is just absolutely beautiful. The weather cleared right overhead Welsh Pool, 
and we're just going to uh, basically follow the river as we continue our journey down towards Swansea but this is just beautiful low level absolutely gorgeous the aeroplane's behaving pretty well apart from the fact that an old man can't get the autopilot to work but that's I kind of see that as the universe telling me something that this flight is meant to be hand flown got a decent uh, breeze blowing across from the um, from the east by the looks of it don't know what this uh, this town would be <laughs> someone uh, knowledgeable will will know and maybe I'll share that in the comments but um, yeah this is fantastic looks like we're on a bit of a descent though why don't we why don't we continue the descent let's go really low let's let's skim the tops of these these buildings they look pretty flat anyway <laughs> yeah 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 all right backed off the power too much there we'll just um hoon down high street here of whatever the town this is <laughs> looks like a rail line coming through the river comes through here here we go oh good fun folks where's the street go over here <laughs> Yeah, that's the railway line. Here we go. Truck down here. A couple of hundred feet off the deck. 150 odd miles an hour. Doing a low level beat up. Scaring the folks of this uh, of this town. We've got a tight lefty coming up. And then a tight righty. We've got to make sure we don't stall it in here. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Folks, I promise you, the next time you'll hear my voice, we'll be on approach into Swansea. Alright, folks, we've got uh, about 11 miles to run. Swansea is kind of 12 o'clock on the other side of these, uh, of these hills in front of us. This has been one of the most enjoyable flights I've done in a while. Low-level stuff, completely hand-flown, in a part of the world that I don't get to, and absolutely just pure enjoyment. It's been great. The sim does not get any better than when you're down, when you're down low. Sort of, you know, that three to, well, three. I haven't, I haven't had three thousand feet between me and terrain the whole flight. Um, yeah, but I mean, sort of between about, I don't know, 1,500 and, uh, let's say, 4,000 AGL. The sim is just stunning. And when you've got real weather, and it's represented so well, um, this is just bloody good fun. And I didn't start the day planning to do this flight. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing. And noticed a comment to a previous video Thank you again, mate, for the suggestion of flying the DC-3. Happened to be um, checking in with the Premier League stuff, and the flight simming gods conspired to give me a, uh, an idea to do this flight. So that's what we've that's what we've done. Now we've had good weather from Welsh Pool until now. It's been clear. Now the weather starts to deteriorate. <laughs> and gives me an extra challenge on the on the approach. Now, just to recap, I'm gonna try and keep this bird on the strip after landing. It will literally be the first time, if I achieve that, it will be the first time I can ever remember doing it in any sim ever. The DC-3 has always departed from the runway for me in whatever sim I've flown. So the challenge here is, to, is just to keep it on. I'm gonna pull it up if it's on the strip, I'm going to pull it up and call the video done. There won't be any taxiing to a parking spot, folks. <laughs> Success is measured by keeping it on the paved surface today. We've got six miles to run. We don't need to worry too much about a descent. Um, we've got a southerly blowing here. I did do a weather check earlier. It's a strong southerly, which should work in our favour today. Visibility is not working in our favor it's getting worse as we continue five miles to run we'll zoom in on the gps uh, zoom in mate will be the other way runway 22 is going to be our arrival runway here at swansea the 
wind should be pretty much down the strip. Four miles to run. Hoping to remain visual with terra firma all the way through. We'll start coming off that power a little bit. Start getting some flap and gear out. 3.9 miles to run. 12 o'clock is the strip. Pretty much a straight in approach. Come right off that power now, hold our altitude. Keep it at 12 o'clock. Very good, yeah, pretty much straight in. There'll be a slight bend to the right. I think I've got the runway inside here, folks. It's there, isn't it? Come on, hold up for me. <laughs> we'll slow down, hang on. Can we take a stage of flap at this point? I'm going to guess that we can. Alright, I'll re-trim. We should slow down. I'm going to take gear pretty early, which is there. 150 miles an hour. I want to approach it about 100, I'm guessing. Half flap at this point. Here we go. We're okay for profile. Just need to slow down. Here we go, folks. Wish me luck. I'm going to need everything that you can throw at me. <laughs> Three quarter flat. Props full. Runway 22 Swansea, here we go. The airport's nothing much to look at here in the default stock sim, is it? There's a hundred knots. I'm going full flat at this point. old fella get the chocolates as Charlie's going to do later on well we got a cross we're landing anyway <laughs> real men don't go around getting a little high I don't want to get too quick there we go that wind's holding up for us a wheeler will be fine Feeling out the strip. Feeling out the strip. Just coming off the power. Feeling out the strip. <laughs> we're going to float it. Oh, we're going to bounce it a little bit. Can we keep it on? Lots of right boot. <laughs> Come right off the power now. Braking, braking, braking. Braking, tail dropping, tail dropping. Stay on, you bastard. <laughs> Folks, I'm calling it successful. <laughs> We've got crosses everywhere. Are you not? Is this airport closed or something? <laughs> Why didn't anyone tell me earlier? Anyway, folks, that has been a flight here in the UK flying the DC-3. I'm officially going to retire from DC-3 flying. I've achieved my aim. Bucket list item ticked. Um, yeah, this one's been commemorating the uh, the coronation of uh, King Charles the third on your Charlie folks until we next meet stay safe enjoy your swimming and bye for now